Hey, what's going on guys? It's Brainbean here again. Today we're going to be taking a look at Corsair's T3 Rush gaming chair. Now, I think with a lot of these gaming chairs, they tend to be relatively the same, either with different branding or different finishes, and a lot of times even coming from the same factory. So with a big company like Corsair throwing their hat into the ring, I want to be extra careful to scrutinize this thing to see what they've done differently and to see if it's worth the $300 asking price. So with that, let's check this thing out. So the T3 Rush is Corsair's first jump into the chair space. It's a mid-sized chair, I would say, supporting a max weight of 265 pounds or about 120 kilograms. And I would say height-wise and width-wise, it's easier to look at these types of things, maybe less so on the specs of the chair in my experience now, having looked at about 30 different gaming chairs, and more actually sit in the chair and try to figure it out based on my actual body type. So for me personally, I weigh about 190 pounds, I'm about six feet tall, and when I sit down in this chair, I feel like it does a good job of supporting my body in all the right places and is a, an appropriate size for me. However, I do feel like with the max height of this chair and with the width of it, I wouldn't necessarily recommend it for somebody who's 260 pounds or somebody who's over 6'1". I would say between 5'4 and about 6 feet and maybe between 100 to 200 pounds for a comfortable fit. As for some measurements for the chair, the backrest height is 85 centimeters with a maximum width at the shoulders at 54 centimeters. And the seat size measures 56 centimeters by 58 centimeters. And when you're raising and lowering the seat, you can bring the seat all the way up to 54 centimeters off the ground at its highest point or drop it down to 44 centimeters. Now, this chair is available in three different finish options. They have a solid charcoal version, a gray and charcoal, which is the one you're gonna see featured in this video, and then a charcoal and white. So it's nice that they have a couple of different varieties, all pretty monotone in terms of the actual colors. So I guess these would be fairly safe to tie into just about any setup, but it would have been nice to see some more vibrant color options that you could have pop out with different setups. And if you've seen some of my chair videos before, you know that I don't really talk about the assembly process with chairs unless there's something that really jumps out at me as either being really good or really bad. In the case of this chair though, it was pretty standard fare, so we're not really gonna talk about that. In terms of overall construction with the chair, it's a solid metal frame wrapped in a cold cure foam, which isn't anything new in the chair space. That's pretty much what you're gonna find with like 90% of the chairs on the market. What really is more important though to set these apart is the actual molding and shape of the chair and if it's more ergonomically comfortable and if it fits you in all the right places. Now, in terms of the T3 chair, the most interesting thing for me is when I built this chair and sat in it and just tried to get my general overall impression, the first thing that jumped out at me is that this chair feels exactly like the Thermaltake GT Fit chair, which actually isn't a bad thing because that was one of my favorite chairs. It's one of the first chairs that I reviewed and actually was one of my favorite shapes that stuck with me for a really long time. In particular, the reason that I like it and what really reminds me of that with this chair is that it hugs you into the seat really, really well. So if you like that sort of deep bucket style racing seat, you're really gonna like the T3. So it's got the sort of side wings or the bucket that kind of comes out of the, of the side here and it actually sticks out far enough to where I'd say it probably comes out about halfway through where my stomach goes. So it really sucks you into the chair. That being said though, it really does make for a more slim fit, which goes back to my recommendation of being about six foot to about 200, maybe 220 pounds or so. But after that, I feel like you're really not gonna get that great of a fit in the chair because the amount that it sticks out really is going to try to hug you into the chair. And depending on your body type, it may not be that comfortable. It may put too much pressure on your back and it kind of on your flank area there. Now the shoulder support is another similar uh, kind of story there. The wings here do come out quite comfortably for somebody who's about six feet tall and about my size. I do feel like they're a little bit wide enough that they could support a little bit wider frame, which is good. Uh, and again, with the headrest here, you can see when I put my head all the way back, the top of my head goes to about the top of the chair. So again, uh, could probably support a couple more inches taller than myself. Uh, but overall, I think for a comfortable fit, that's where you're gonna wanna be. And looking at the base of the chair, it's a similar story here. It's wide enough that it fits my body type pretty comfortably but it's also slim enough that I feel like there's not a whole lot more room to grow. Also, if you're somebody that likes to sit cross-legged in your chair every once in a while, or you like to kind of 
bring your knees up and play like this, do that kind of thing. I actually do that sometimes, just to kind of give your legs a rest or change position, especially if you're playing like MMOs or something where you're in the chair for a long time. This may not be the best chair for that because it's a little bit narrow uh, in terms of how far out it comes and it may not support you all that great there. But what I really like about this chair is the finish that it's wrapped in. Now, I know at the beginning of the video, I kind of talked about how a lot of these chairs tend to feel like rebrands of different models with different types of finishes on them. And this very much does fit into that category because I feel like this might be the exact same chair as the Thermaltake GT Fit chair is. But the fabric that this is wrapped in in particular is super breathable and it's super comfortable. A lot of these chairs come in that like really thick faux leather material that really just makes them feel kind of cheap. And even though that's great for being water resistant and those types of things, it gets hot and it gets kind of sweaty. And with this material in particular, just like uh, I like with the Secret Lab chairs having that soft uh, texture on them as well, I really, really like the finish on these chairs. In terms of branding, surprisingly on this chair for a big manufacturer, it's pretty light. So you've got the Corsair logo with the sales logo and the lettering up top. Same exact thing mirrored on the back of the headrest here. And in terms of gaming chairs, that's actually not that bad. A lot of times you've got multiple areas with logos, especially on the back, there's usually some giant logo. So that's actually pretty nice. I'm happy to see that there. The armrests on the T3 are all plastic. They are four dimensional armrests, which is pretty standard on gaming chairs. I do like that they're pretty wide and they give you a good amount to rest on. They do have a little bit of soft rubber padding on the top, which is good because sometimes they do tend to be all plastic. But again, this really reminds me of the Thermaltake chair, uh, which is interesting. But one thing that is different with this chair is the carbon fiber accents on the actual armrests themselves, which I think look really cool. And especially in this particular model, they tie in really well with the charcoal and the gray color scheme. Quality wise, the armrests feel pretty good, but they do have a little bit of play in them, which actually isn't that uncommon for gaming chairs, but I'm still gonna have to knock them for that. In terms of customization and actually moving the chair, pretty common for what you'll see with most gaming chairs here. You have the ability to tilt the chair from 90 degrees all the way back to 180 degrees. So you can do the pop of pudes. Can you do this? Uh, you also have the ability to raise and lower the piston. Uh, you also have the ability to recline the chair back and you can lock it as well. All these things are very standard on gaming chairs. Moving on to the base of the chair, it's all plastic, which I'm not super thrilled with. It is a thick, super hard plastic that actually, again, isn't super uncommon with gaming chairs. But when you're talking about having a full grown adult sitting on a base of a chair that you're paying 300 bucks for, I'd like to have a metal base. Let's talk about pillows, because every gaming chair has them, and for me, it's actually one of the areas that makes one stand out more than the other, because it tends to be one of the few areas that you actually see some differences between manufacturers. So starting off with the neck pillow. Now, sometimes you see gaming chairs, they all have the big pillow. Sometimes they're more made to be like head pillows. Other times they're really slim like this, and they're made to fit just directly behind your neck. That's what we have here. Now this is made with a really soft microfiber material that actually feels really nice to the touch. It's got a little diamond pattern in the stitching, which is nice. It's not memory foam, which is important to note, but it does feel kind of like your standard, uh, you know, kind of fluff that you would have with like a stuffed animal or something like that. And opening it up here, you can see that's exactly what we've got here. So this is like the Ikea pillow padding kind of stuff here that just sort of plasticky, uh, plastic wool or you know something like that. Um, that being said though, it's actually a pretty good neck pillow for the size. And lastly, moving on to the lumbar pillow. Now, if you guys have watched any of my other chair reviews, I almost always say to just throw these things away because they're almost like little plastic speed bumps for your back. Nine times out of 10, they feel awful. But in the case of Corsairs, it is a nice, slow rising, dense memory foam. Now this one actually is memory foam. It's wrapped in the same microfiber material that just ooh, feels so nice. Uh, and it's a good shape, which is important because um, a lot of those other ones that have the straps and all that nonsense that go on the back, it's just not great. Uh, but these ones, this is a very similar shape to what you'll see with Secret Labs pillows, which is good. Uh, but it fits really nice in the back. And because that memory foam is so squishy, this is a shape that I would use. This pillow I would definitely use in this chair. So I give them a plus for the pillows. 
overall for about 300 bucks there are some things that i really like about this chair and there's some things that just eh, kind of are what they are the things that i'm not super thrilled about are the plastic base and the armrests are a little bit rattly uh, other than that though i really love the feel of the cloth material that the chair is wrapped in and this chair has got this nice slim feel to it, the fitted sort of hug you into the seat feel that I haven't felt in a gaming chair in a while. The only other one, like I mentioned, that really kind of gave me that feel was the Thermaltake GT Fit, which I'm not even sure if that's even in production anymore. So if you like a more fitted chair, that's a really good reason to go with the T3 Rush. It's a much more fitted feel than something like from Secret Lab or even DX Racer, but that's also gonna be something that's gonna be kind of decisive for some people because if you don't necessarily fit into the body type that I described at the beginning let's say between 100 to 200 pounds and no taller than 6162 this is not really going to be a great fit for you but if you like a more slim fit to your chair you really want to feel it hug you into the chair then this is a great option for that. Well, that's it for the review, guys. Let me know in those comments down below what you think about Corsair's first jump into the chair space. And if you guys wanna see even more chair reviews or even some of my year-end chair roundup videos, I'll leave some links down in the description below for you. You can give this video a like if you enjoyed it to show your support. And of course, if you guys enjoyed this and you wanna see more from me, be sure to hit that subscribe button and click that bell. And just as a side note, as I was working on this video, we hit 50,000 subs. So thank you guys so much for that. Whether you're a new subscriber or you've been here for a long time, I really appreciate you guys coming along for the ride. Anyways, guys, that's it for me. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.